Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that the table shows the relationship between daily profit P for an amusement park and the number of visitors in thousands, and it is denoted by N. Now, A part is what is the y-intercept and explain it in the context of the problem. B part is Identify any maxima and minima and explain their meaning in the context of the problem. C part is determine if the graph is symmetrical and identify which shape this pattern of change develops. And D part is describe the intervals of increase and decrease and explain them in the context of the problem. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Here we are given a table representing relationship between daily profit denoted by P for an amusement park and number of paying visitors denoted by N in thousands. Let us first read this table. It is given that when number of paying visitors denoted by N is 0, then profit P of the park is also 0. When N is 1, then P is 5. This means when number of visitors is 1000, then profit is $5000. Similarly, we are given other values in this table. Now in the first part we have to find the y in the set and we have to explain it in the context of the problem. Now y intercept is given when x coordinate is 0 and here variable x is given by n and variable y is given by p. Now in this table you can see when n is 0, p is also 0. That is, when x is equal to 0, y is also 0. So, y intercept is given by the point 0, 0. This means that there is no profit when number of visitors is 0. Now in the second part we have to identify any maxima and minima and explain their meaning in the context of the problem. Now in this table we can see that value of P is 0, 5, 8 for M is equal to 0, 1 and 2 respectively which shows P is increasing and for M is equal to 3, P is equal to 9 but from here it starts decreasing that is here we can see when N is equal to 4, P is equal to 8 when M is equal to 5, P is equal to 5 thus the values of P move from increasing to decreasing now here you can see maximum value of P is 9 that occurs at n is equal to 3. So we have maximum at n is equal to 3. This means profit of the amusement park is maximum when number of visitors is 3000 and here There is no point of minimum
Now in the next part, let us meet the graph of this data. So here we have drawn this graph. On x-axis we have represented the number of visitors in thousands and on y-axis we have represented the profit in thousand dollars. Now let us plot all these audit pairs on the graph. Here the first audit pair is 0, 0. So this is the point 0, 0. Then the next audit pair is 1, 5. So this is the point represented by the audit pair 1, 5. Similarly, we will plot all the audit pairs on the graph. So we have plotted all the audit pairs on the graph. Now joining all these points, we get a downward facing parabola. Now we see that at y is equal to 9, the straight line drawn is tangent to the curve at the point 3, 9. And at this point, x is equal to 3. So here, this is the highest point on the curve. Which means the curve is maximum at x is equal to 3. But there is no minimum point. So we see that the point 3, 9 is vertex of this parabola. And this curve is symmetric about the line x is equal to 3. That is, all the points are equidistant from the vertical line drawn at x is equal to 3. From the graph, we can see that curve increases when x is less than 3 and it decreases when x is greater than 3. It means that daily profit of the amusement park increases when number of visitors is less than 3000 and it decreases when number of visitors is more than 3000. So this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.